Today we're going to look at level 3.1 arcs and sectors. And as we're working through these problems, we want to round to two decimal places where necessary. And uh, first of all, uh, for problems involving area, we're going to set up this proportion of the central angle measure over 360 degrees. Remember, central angle has the vertex at the center of the circle. And then that's going to equal the shaded sector area over the formula for area of a circle, which is pi r squared. When we're looking at arc length, then we're still going to do the central angle measure over 360. And then we're going to do the shader, shaded sector arc length divided by the formula for the circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi r. So maybe to make this a little bit shorter, we can start here um, before we find the area of sectors given an angle and a radius, determine the area of a circle with radius of 5. So once again, our formula for area is pi r squared. You will be provided with that formula. So we get a equals pi times 5 squared. And then uh, pi times 5 squared is 78.53, uh, 0.539, we're going to run to two decimal places. 9 is 5 or higher, so that's going to be a 0.54. So 78.54 is our area. So now, if we want to find the area of the shaded sector of a circle that has a radius of 5, and the shaded sector has a central measure angle of 120. So notice, here's the shaded area. We have a central angle of 120. And we're going to come up here. There's the area. I'm going to take 120 divided by 360 equals the shaded sector area, that's what we're going to try to find, so I'm going to call that x, divided by the area of the circle, which we just found a moment ago, of 78.54. And we are going to cross multiply. So it's going to be 120 times 78.54 equals 360 times x. 120 times 78.54 is 9,424.8. And that equals 360 times x. And then we're going to divide both sides by 360. And we get 26. Point 18. Number two, determine the area of the shaded sector if the circle has a radius of 12 and the shaded sector has a central angle measure of 30 degrees. So we're still going to be working with area. And we can just set this up here. So central angle measure, which is 30. 30 over 360. We want to find the shaded sector area. So I'll call that x. And to find, or in the denominator, in the bottom of the fraction, we're going to do pi times 12 square. So what's going to happen here is we're still going to multiply. We're going to multiply these two together, multiply those two together, cross multiply, I can say better. I had to pause the video for a minute. So again, what we're doing is we're cross multiplying. So this is going to be 30 times pi times 12 squared. 
equals 360 times x. So let's type that in. 30 times pi times 12 squared. That gives us 13,571.680. We look at the 0 to determine what to do with the 8. We're going to leave the 8 as is because 0 is less than 5. Thirteen thousand five hundred and seventy one point six eight equals three hundred sixty x and we'll divide both sides by three sixty. And we end up with thirty seven point six nine nine because this nine is five or higher, we have to run this up to a zero which rounds this up to 70. So it's going to be 37.70 when we round. That is our area of our shaded sector.